started. Welcome everyone to the session. Thank you for your time this morning. My name is Jill Oslager. I'm the head of Central and East Region for the LTA. Joining me this morning, we've got Graham Keane and Tony Devonish, my participation development partners. And as a team, we'll take you through this morning's session. It will probably last around 45 minutes, depending on how quick we talk and how uh, many questions we get. Um, but I just want to stay at the start that it's, I understand it's been an extremely difficult few months and we in the regional team and everyone at the LTA just want to say a big thank you to everyone in the sport for your fantastic efforts and to do your best to keep it going. Without our workforce, tennis venues, providers and an army of volunteers, we would definitely be in a far worse off position. So thank you. So in terms of housekeeping, we will record the session, um, which we can share and make available to you who have joined and for those that were unable to make it. We have a chat function, so I think many of you are now Zoom experts, so if you've got to um, switch on your chat, if you've got a question there, please um, pop it in there and we'll do our best to answer things as we go along. If it's something a little bit more unique or something we need to go away and think about, we'll come back to you after the session and provide that information for you. Uh, we'll try and do maybe a couple of questions at the end as well, um, if there's some reoccurring themes that we'll be able to answer. We also have polls, so your feedback's really important. We've got two rounds of polls, so please do participate in them and give us your views. And as I mentioned, if you can pop yourself on, on mute at least um, and ideally a video off, that would be great. It just uh, makes it a little bit easier to present. Right, to kick us off, I'm going to play an introduction video from our CEO, Scott Lloyd explaining what our campaign is all about and uh, then the three of us will go into more detail the various elements of the campaign and how you can use this to increase your membership and or participation in your coaching session so let's just get that screen share hopefully you'll be able to hear this all right over to you scott the pandemic that we're all experiencing the consequences of has presented significant challenges for everyone. But with every challenge comes opportunity. And with that, this is my request to you all, to come together and play your part in helping us open tennis back up. Earlier this year, we announced a multi-million pound support package designed to ensure clubs and venues can bounce back and players, coaches and officials would not be lost to our sport as a result of this crisis. I was determined to ensure that tennis emerges in as strong a position as possible. So we went as far and wide as we could to provide support right across the tennis community. With tennis now starting to get back up and running, the interest has been huge and we want to work with you to capitalize on it. We want to get more people into your venues and your classes and help thousands more people to pick up a racket and enjoy the mental and physical benefits of our sport. With tennis, one of the few sports that can be safely undertaken in the current environment, we want to work together to reach more people, increase participation and capture the moment and the opportunities for coaches, clubs and venues. So our ask of you is this, we want you to help us open up our sport as part of a back to tennis campaign. Over the next six weeks, we want every single tennis venue to commit to open up their courts to provide at least some level of provision for the wider community in your local area to play the sport that we all love. We want coaches to open up or provide sessions for anyone looking to get into or return to tennis. We have the tools to help you do this through Clubspark and our digital platform LTA Rally. We will also provide promotional materials for you to use as part of a significant investment in a national marketing campaign for tennis, which is going to reach some 35% of our population, inspiring people to book a court, a coaching session, or sign up to a venue. With your help over the coming weeks, we can turn the current challenges into an opportunity, and we can all play a part in bringing more people into our sport and deliver our collective vision of opening tennis up. You are the lifeblood of tennis, and without you, our sport simply couldn't thrive. Please show your support by registering for our Back to Tennis campaign 
in the link in this email. Thank you. Okay. Right, so I'm going to share our PowerPoint now. Everyone can see that hopefully. Thanks Scott. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. For the rest of the session we're going to take you through um, various elements of what he's talked about. So we've got the marketing and promotional uh, aspect of it and then we we'll talk about Club Spark and Rally and also how you can get involved. So we're going to talk you through this national campaign back to, ke uh, back to tennis which core purpose is to raise awareness that tennis is an open and welcoming sport which is fully adaptable for all to play. We're doing this at a time where we're in a I'd say a new unique position of being one of only few sports playable currently so we have a window of opportunity to try to attract new people to the sport that otherwise would be playing other sports or going to the gym and doing other activities. And we need to seize this moment together to ensure that our sport is in the best possible shape during this really challenging time. Also to support the nation to be active and gain the many physical and mental health benefits tennis can give, especially while there are limit, other limited options. So as I mentioned, in terms of why we're here today, time is now. Um, we've, we're using this time to launch a, a large marketing campaign, which we hope to reach over 18 million people and work together. Um, and by working together, we can open tennis up to our local community. And as restrictions hopefully carry on being lifted over the forthcoming weeks and months, we um, coaches and venues need to provide more opportunities to meet this demand to get people on court. And a key benefit of doing this is to drive revenue through club memberships and an uptake in coaching activities. So the webinar really is going to understand the national marketing campaign and how you can be part of it, how your venue and coaching program can maximize the opportunity through LTA Rally, and understand how you can access our resources to help you open up tennis to your local community. So part one. So this is um, a campaign that, as I said, is a unique opportunity to bring new and lax players into our sport. Typically, we'll probably attract active people looking to adapt their sports and fitness routines as the sports they normally play are and the gyms they normally attend are closed. However, we, we can also attract inactive people who are looking at ways to be more active since the lockdown and maybe want to join in an activity with their family and friends in a safe way, of course. So we have a campaign that celebrates the different styles of play of people of all ages, backgrounds and abilities, showing our sport to be welcoming, open, accessible and engages with our local community. This should also help us break down those perceived barriers to our support. So the campaign's already begun. So we've put the, the slogan play your way out through social media activity um, last week. We've also put forward these bold sort of statements and bright colours to attract attention and we'll have um, these on billboards and bus stops in close proximity to over 300 courts across the UK. As mentioned, Play Your Way is our slogan and the purpose of the marketing campaign is to direct people to find and book a court through our platform called Rally. Next phase starts on Monday. Um, so we'll be releasing a short TV advert with a purpose to inspire people to play tennis using the story of a tennis ball. So we all find balls in uh, tennis balls in weird or wonderful places and every ball has a story or a journey, whether it's a brand new ball fresh out of the packet or a brightly colored low compression ball, a sound ball or a ball that's been in circulation for years. They've all had a journey. And this could have been hit down the line for a winner or hit out court and ended up in a bush or a roof. They all show that someone was giving tennis a go. However you play, just play tennis your way. And I think this is something we as players, coaches and volunteers can all relate to. But also I think this will attract other people into our sport that in, a, in a way that's engaging and importantly fun. It's a story that's accessible to everyone, celebrating the power of trying and leaving you with a smile. So in terms of visibility, our advertising plan will reach over 35% of the UK population, that's 18 million adults, at least three times. So starting next week, for three weeks, this short film about the journey of the tennis ball will be shown on TV. And it will appear across a mixture of times and, and days and programmes across Channel 4, Sky Sports, all the various Sky channels and entertainment channels. There'll also be a significant visibility on social media, 
and YouTube. So please do keep an eye out for that. And it's important to translate all this inspiration and raised awareness of the benefits of our sport into increased demand for court bookings and coaching opportunities. This will help us sustain tennis participation and bring revenue into the sport, which will benefit many of you now and for the future. So therefore we're providing you with a range of flexible marketing assets that you can use on your social and digital channels. So you can keep promoting your activities over the next few weeks and months with refreshed content. As restrictions hopefully continue to ease and enable more tennis activities to be delivered, you can choose which marketing assets would suit you best at a time that works for you. So we're telling you about this now so that you have more time to consider how you would like to be involved and plan your promotion over the next few weeks and months in a proactive way rather than in a reactive way. And just to say that we will be directing people to book court bookings through Rally. So that's a really big part of our, of our campaign. So I'm just going to introduce Graham, uh, one of my regional participation development partners, to talk to you through the next section of this presentation. Over to you, Graham. Thanks, Jill. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Um, so lots of exciting things coming through, which are going to hit our screens very soon. Um, so we've told you what the camp campaign is hoping to achieve and a little bit about where we're going to drive traffic to. And I'll repeat that. So we're going to get all of the, those new customers onto the LTA rally platform to find courts and coaching sessions but what I'm going to do now is talk you through how you as a as be that as a club a venue as a coach actually get involved uh, and I can see there's a, a good range of, uh, of people on, on today's session so lots of representing lots of different um, clubs and, and, and coaches so we'll cover both things for you um, and we really want to show you how you can take advantage of, of what we definitely think is a, is a once in a generation opportunity with the aim of absolutely increasing players members and ultimately revenue for your business or your tennis club or your coaching program or however you term it. Um, so what's our challenge? Just gonna run through where, where we sit as a sport. So how we lead our lives is very, very different to say three years, five years ago. And I'm, I'm not just talking about COVID-19. Um, if you think about the ease of searching and booking things online is, is an everyday occurrence. So discoverability and visibility is really the gateway to reaching new players and new customers. So even think about pre-COVID uh, and how we used other services and goods and to access our leisure. It was all about find, click, book. It's the ease of customer experience is key to everything in our everyday lives. Think about ordering food, think about getting things from Amazon. I mean, even during lockdown, we obviously heavily, heavily relied on going online and finding things that were close to us, that were accessible, that were open, that were trusted. And we want tennis to be in that position as well. So now as we get back on court, unfortunately, the fundamental for, for tennis and the challenge for tennis remains that finding and booking tennis is simply not that easy for the, for the wider population. So those potential players that Jill talked about are still consistently saying it's tough to find a court or find sessions. And they'll quite often put it in those three, three areas. They just don't know where things are. Um, they don't know how to book. Is there a process? Where do I go? Where do I start? And the obvious, obviously, once they're not having anyone to play with. So we want to get them to the places where there is already a community of players. Um, so we, and I say we collectively, uh, need to change the way we approach this. Uh, and we need to offer tennis to a much bigger audience. And as we've talked about, now is the biggest and probably the best opportunity to do this. So tennis is one of only a few sports that can be played and it might be like that for a little while longer. So people have said it's the kind of most fun you can have outside while still social distancing. Uh, we've still got the opportunity of, of, of the Wimbledon period. It's not going to be on our screens uh, and taking place as usual, but the feeling will still be there. And the BBC are doing a fair amount around the reruns of Wimbledon and, and really highlighting that, that summer of tennis. Um, I look out this morning and see the sun's uh, blazing, which is good. So the best summer is hopefully ahead of us. We've had a great May and a great June, but as we ease out of lockdown, even more weather we hope to is to come. And we want to use that marketing campaign around back to tennis to really capitalize on that. So our main point really around the challenge is we know it's there, um, but with everything we're going to talk about and the opportunities is do not let this opportunity and this unique opportunity pass you by. Um, we understand and appreciate that um, 
it's about opening up your tennis venue in the most appropriate way. So striking a balance is key, and we'll talk about this a bit more. But as we move forward, think about this challenge and think positively and openly and optimistically about how you can really make the most of, of how you open up your, your, your tennis facility or your, or your programme. So let's talk about the steps to do that. Um, so before we go into any of the kind of practical next steps, I'm just going to talk you through kind of more the, the kind of the thinking, the takeaway points. Jill, if you want to click on a, a slide. Yeah, do you want to run the poll as well, Graham? Oh, sorry. Yes, Jill. Sorry. What we're going to do before we go into the next steps, uh, apologies, we're going to run a very quick poll. So we talked about the challenge of finding a court. We just want to ask you in terms of what you currently offer in terms of online booking and pay and play provision. So you should see a poll pop up on your screen. If you'd like to take a few moments just to uh, submit your answers and we'll have a look at the, uh, the results. We've nearly got everyone answering, just a few more left. Okay, I'm gonna end polling now. Let's share the results. Can everyone see that? Yep. Great, so we've got a good spread there. It's good to see a number of you on the session are using Clubspark, which is fantastic. Uh, there are some other people using other platforms and we'll talk about other platforms here in a little bit um, and the opportunities and how things may link in the future. Um, and down the bottom there, in terms of offering pay and play, Again, great to see uh, a good percentage of people already offering pay and play. And that might be what you're going to see from this opportunity is the ability to promote that pay and play to a wider audience, uh, which we can help you with. And for those that currently aren't offering pay and play, um, obviously it's an opportunity to think about how you might be able to do that in the future. Uh, we've already working with a number of venues. It's worth saying now that even coming out of, out of lockdown and easing restrictions are still able to offer pay and play. Though I know there is some kind of nervousness around op opening up to non-members. Uh, but I think we've looked and seen a number of different solutions and creative ways of which we're really able to still allow pay and play to develop. And obviously across the summer, we hope that's just going to increase and increase. So we'll make a note of those results and we'll certainly uh, we'll share those with you post uh, post webinar as well to, to remind everyone. Um, so as I was going on to say, the, the kind of next steps, so this is more the kind of thinking next steps rather than some of the, the detailed practical stuff. Um, so first thing you can do before you commit to anything and, and appreciate you're all going to be in various different scenarios and situations of, of starting this journey. Some of you might not have thought about how you open up your tennis venue at all to, to a wider audience. Some of you already might be taking a few steps. So you all, you all will be starting at different points. But first of all, go away and there's nothing to stop you having a great conversation within your club, across your committee, with your coach about, you know, the opportunities that this campaign and the things we've talked about on today's webinar can give your club. Let's spark the debate, talk about the opportunity. So maybe it's about offering some court time to non-members, um, you know, at various different times of the day, you can manage that. Or, or likewise, if you're a coach, maybe it's about how you promote your sessions and get more into the beginner market or those who might be returning to tennis at this great opportunity. So that's your first ultimate step from this. The next step is, is actively putting in place the principle and offering non-members some community bookings. Uh, so for initially, that might be about opening up for, for pay and play, but the next step, step two there is really about saying, yeah, we're going to do this. We've committed to it. And it's something that's bought in and understood across your, your, your entire club. The third step on there is activate rally. That sounds very simple. I will go into the, de we'll go into the detail what that means, but essentially it's about committing uh, and linking through your, your club spot platform, your, your details of what you have to offer at your club through to the, uh, the, the rally platform and it allows you to be visible to a, to a wider audience. So, that's a, a step in the process and we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit more detail. And, and lastly, um, uh, is really about um, promoting your, is, is how you'd expect to promote your activity or service. So you will obviously hold information on your LTA login. Um, some of you will have Club Spark pages already. Uh, and that is the information that powers what is presented to a customer, the general public. So it's really important and it might seem really straightforward, but your contact details, your description, um, what your venue looks like, photos and images of your venue 
is really clear, honest, and, and reflective and an accurate portrayal of, of what your tennis club has to offer. Whether you're buying a tennis racket secondhand from eBay or buying a cinema ticket, everyone expects, obviously, when they're booking something or want to go and do an activity that is reflective of what they've kind of seen and on advertising. It's important that what we present is what's an accurate picture of, of obviously what we're getting people involved in. And again, um, we'll talk about Club Spark in a, in a moment about how that kind of looks um, to the customer. Um, so uh, let's have a quick look at LTA Rally. So this is, if you haven't been already, this is the LTA Rally platform. As Jill mentioned earlier, we are directing using all the back to tennis and the play your way uh, hashtag all directing through to the LTA Rally platform. Um, this is what our customers and uh, members of the general public will see when they first arrive. So uh, it was created by the LTA and it's essentially a, a court aggregator. It's an aggregator. So it's, it's something we're quite used to in everyday life. So think about Amazon, think about Airbnb, bringing all the best of the opportunities in your local area to an easy place to kind of find something, book and pay online in one place. So it's gonna help the public find their nearest courts to book and play uh, how they want to. And the, as I said, the play your way campaign will sign post. So the customer journey, we haven't kind of taken you through this, it's just a landing page. But if you, if you go online, you'll land on this page, you type in the place where you are, you'll find the courts nearest to you. You can then select the time, find the court you want to book, and then you can um, sign in, create a login, and then pay online in three very simple processes. Uh, you'll also then get a confirmation email, which again is adapted to the information that you as a venue will supply. If there's anything specific around how they access the courts or kind of any particular things they need to know when they turn up. So it's a really straightforward process. Um, and what I'd urge you to do after today is go online, have a play, uh, search your area, you might find there's no courts available to book in your area, which might not be reflective of what's available, but certainly if it's not showing on the rally platform, then you're not going to be visible to a big enough audience. Or likewise, you might see there's a few courts in your area. So what's your kind of distinction? What is there something you could offer? Um, maybe, you know, some coaching courses to, 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 to support some of the, uh, the, the on-court activity as well. So that's LTA Rally. So what, what drives it? What, what supplies it? So the LTA rally platform is just a forward facing customer place of which they'll go and find. It is all powered by Club Spark. So many of you will be aware of Club Spark uh, as, as, a, as a platform. Um, and it, it, it's, it provides a whole venue management tool. So it absolutely works in harmony with the LTA rally platform. Um, you'll see on that page, uh, on this slide, lots of different functions of, uh, of ClubSpark. Some of you might be using all of them. Some of you might only be using a few of them. But the, the court booking module is a thing that pushes the information through to L LTA Rally. So uh, some of you might be using the whole website function of, of ClubSpark, which is great, fantastic. And if you want to then um, expand into offering maybe pay and play or, or, or kind of community use of courts, we can then set um, times and dates at which you want to promote those and they'll push through to rally. Others of you might not have ever used Club Spark before and say, look, we've got our own website. We don't want to use all these other aspects of it, but we quite like the sound of LTA rally. How do we make sure our courts uh, are visible online? Well, we can just set you up with the, the, the court booking module. So you don't have to use all these aspects of Club Spark. The point being, though, is Club Spark is the tool that powers what the customer sees. Um, uh, sorry, and then lastly, just to say, you can then obviously tailor that to, to, to absolutely your needs. I think, as I referenced earlier, this is about finding the opportunities to, not to just throw open your doors to, 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 to booking your courts at all times of the day. You can really use Club Spark to, to, to tailor it to what you want to offer. So if you only want to offer a pay and play court for a certain period of the week or certain kind of periods of the day, you can absolutely do that. And that's ultimately what will show to the customer as, the, as they see that. So we've talked to you a little bit around the kind of the steps and what powers and how this information is presented. I'm now gonna hand over to my colleague, Tony, who's gonna to talk you through a little bit more some of the practical steps for activating Rally. Thanks, Graham. Okay, so in terms of practical steps, um, so this, this first bit's around, around coaches um, and the steps you need to take. So, um, if you haven't already got Club Spark, then you, you will need to sign up for it. Um, it is a benefit, a free benefit of um, accreditation and venue registration. So if you have Club Spark or once you've signed up, you then need to up upload your courses. Uh, you need to make sure you liaise 
with your venue and if needs be discuss the additional advantages of allowing the community to access a program and or pay and play at your venue and remember that the play away marketing campaign that Jill talked about earlier will reach over 18 million adults so it's definitely worth uh, using this to help promote your activities through social media and work together with your venue to promote uh, the court bookings program etc which can all be managed through the pay and play uh, function on club spark we are working on a new function in rally uh, which should enable coaches to simply tick a box to enable your coaching program to go on to rally when published um, and we will let you know as soon as this is activated so for venues now some of you may well have taken some of these steps already um, for those that haven't then uh, you'll need to sign up to club spark you'll then need to request to activate the membership and booking module in club spark um, there are lots of different modules and functions that club spark has uh, and you do need to uh, activate those and, and, and in this particular case it's the membership and booking module once it is activated you need to go and check that your profile settings are up to date uh, and then email rally and we've got the email address uh, which we will circulate to you uh, you say email rally to activate rally for your venue as i said on the previous slide uh, you really should take advantage of the play away marketing campaign as it will have massive reach um, so the the email address as i said it, uh, we will circulate it is rally at lta.org.uk um, and then you should confirm then uh, when emailing that email address uh, the have the correct settings in place on Club Spark and that you would like Rally to be turned on. Uh, as has been mentioned previously, we will be circulating all the, uh, the slides, the recording of this um, and all this information as part of our follow up. There are a lot of resources available to support you in that process as well of, um, of getting Rally switched on or of, of um, getting Club Spark. So there's a video series that Club Spark have created. There's also a comprehensive frequently asked questions section. And there are extensive written guidelines available on the Club Spark Zendesk, which is the name they have for the help area. So once this is all done, you'll receive your Rally activa Activation Marketing Pack, uh, which I'll go into a little bit more detail in a little while about what that contains. Uh, but it does include resources for you to display at your venue. And obviously, as part of all this, if you're switching all this on, you want to put some plans in place to convert your pay and play bookers uh, into members. It's always great to showcase how clubs are already capitalising on opening up uh, court time and creating coaching opportunities. And, and this particular case study here is a, is a, a, a five-court venue. We, we would define that as a medium-sized tennis club. Um, and this club in our region was looking at new ways to attract new members and they identified an opportunity to attract new members from their community by opening up court time for pay and play to non-members and to promote their coaching program further. So they introduced pay and play options, a variety of membership offers, varied coaching sessions and they run an effective marketing, marketing campaign mainly through social media with Facebook, Facebook ads to the public. As soon as tennis was able to resume playing obviously and all within the government and LTA guidelines um, I mean the numbers look impressive and actually this is something that we are seeing uh, across many venues many clubs is that they're uh, they are in um, in really good uh, really good usage on their courts and they're getting a lot of people booking their courts and coming and playing um, obviously so um, the advantage of using an online booking system means that you can maximise the opportunities to engage with members and non-members and still ensure that you can follow the safety guidelines around social distancing, etc. So following this webinar, in addition to this presentation and recording uh, of the webinar, you'll also receive more details on further resources available to you. Now, they include Play Your Way campaign resources, uh, which includes marketing resources for email, social media and website marketing. There'll be further resources available from the 22nd of June, which is when the wider campaign goes live. 
I mentioned the rally activation pack. So this includes banners, flyers, court numbers, and court booking signs. Uh, these can be provided to venues to make courts available once signed up to LTA Rally. Um, as part of your venue registration, there are other resources also available, including mini marketing guides, self-service guide to growing your membership, my tennis toolkit, campaign action planner, case studies, membership and play and play, pay and play ideas, um, which I'm sure many of you have looked at already, but they are all available to LTA registered venues. And also we have a tennis ball giveaway. Um, and as a supporter of, of the campaign by attending this webinar and activating pay and play court time and or coaching sessions to the public, we have an additional offer for you. Due to the cancellation of the summer grass court season this year, uh, we have 45,000 tennis balls that have already been purchased by the LTA. As a supporter of this campaign, you will receive a unique link to, offer the, uh, to access this offer. And that is uh, six dozen uh, tennis balls per registered venue or coach. You will only be asked to cover delivery charge of £15 plus fat in England. And there's additional charges if any of you are in the Channel Islands, Northern Ireland or Scotland. And we will, as we've previously mentioned, um, have further details in the post webinar pack. And I'm going to hand you now back over to Jill. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Um, so your feedback is really important to us. So if you could take a few moments to complete um, one last poll that will appear shortly, that would be great. I'm just going to set that up now. Okay, let's get that. So hopefully that will come up on your screens now. So please do give us your views. So we'll collect the results of the, the polls that we've administered in these webinars um, and that will give us an indication of additional support that you may require so we can initiate plans to address them. That may be in the form of more webinars uh, such like this covering different specific topics. Uh, it could be that we update our website and the information that we put on there uh, and the guidance notes that are on there as well. We may provide additional guidance notes on various aspects of Club Spark or Rally and um, we'll also provide you with the links to videos which are kind of help videos that Club Spark have put together on how to activate certain elements of the Club Spark program. So please do fill out these polls. And uh, we haven't had anyone fill out yet, so get going. All right, that's good. Two people, brilliant. Um, and in terms of whilst you're doing that, the webinar objectives, hopefully you've enjoyed the webinar. It's um, not taking up too much of your time this morning. So hopefully now you understand the national marketing campaign and how you can be a part of it at a time that suits you. How your venue and coaching program can maximize the opportunity through LTA Rally. And lastly, hopefully how you can under, understand how you access our resources to help you open up tennis to your local community. I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you um, as well as our support. You've had the support and you have the support of your local county associations. They are very proactive in helping venues and the tennis workforce in answering any questions or issues that you may have, whether they're of a general nature or specific to current circumstances. So I would really encourage you to link in with them. They are really engaged in this campaign and I know a number of them are running promotional communications or indeed specific activities to encourage participation. So please do keep an eye out locally in your area and link in with them together. Um, the full campaign starts on the 22nd, so we're just giving you this information in advance of that. Please do use as much of it or as little of it of, as you wish at a time that suits you. But we really do hope that you'll join us together to attract and welcome new participants to our sport while we do have this unique window of being one of the few sports available to participate in right now. So, almost done there on the polling. I shall just give you a few more seconds. And let's share those results. So you can see from that. So we'll take these results away with us. So we can put together um, a kind of logical next step and possibly put on some more webinars as well. Hopefully everyone can see that. Okay. 
Um, last bits. Um, so here you've got our email addresses. So if you need to have something specific to talk to myself, Tony or Graham, please feel free to email us. Um, as I mentioned before, we'll send you all the slides and a recording, link to a recording of this session today. Um, I don't know, guys, if you want to give us a bit of a summary on some of the um, chat functions, uh, chat questions, sorry, um, that you feel yeah. that might be able to talk about. Yes, yes, Jill. There's still, uh, there's still a few questions coming in. Just, just to know, um, I think overall what we're going to say, thank you very much for, for all your kind of questions coming in. I'll pick up a couple of themes and threads um, just to acknowledge uh, and obviously reference that we will be, uh, we will be responding to these as part of the kind of follow-up as part of the FAQ. But I'll just kind of acknowledge a couple of points that, that people are playing. I think certainly the the overall feeling of, you know, we're not quite ready to do this yet and, and open up our doors because obviously we're limited on the numbers or actually really positive. You've had some good response locally. People who want to join as members are actually starting to fill up anyway, which is great. Uh, so what we're saying is, as I think I said earlier, this is about striking a balance. This is also about opening up your venue appropriately to the environment and the space uh, that you're able to do. But do look optimistically about it. The second one is, uh, point to that is, there's stuff you can do now to make sure you're ready. So even if you can't open up for, for, for court bookings now, if you work with us to put in place the, some of the, um, the processes, so to speak, it means you're really ready to go that you can maybe switch it on, you know, very quickly rather than kind of obviously coming to us and say, well, we want to do it now, what, what's, the, what's the process? And we're kind of playing catch up a little bit. So I think that's a key bit to, to make. A couple of people questioned around, obviously, the app, the physical access. Um, we know it's a challenge. It's all very well having the online customer experience, but actually, how do they get on court? How do you have courts open or closed? Um, it's quite a challenge. Some of you will be aware we do have um, a gate access systems that we've been installing in parks and have grownly been installing in clubs as well. Um, there is some challenges that that can't be done everywhere and it might not be cost effective for small clubs. Um, so I won't go into the detail, but there are, we'll pick up this up in the FAQs, there are other, obviously options and ways of which, creative ways of which clubs have done that. Um, but And also gate access might be applicable for a few clubs, some of the larger clubs. And again, we can work with you to do that, you know, later down the line, because um, obviously we can't install gates overnight. Um, Another couple of questions, just scrolling down now. About the one, um, Graham, about linking to Rally if you don't have Club Spark. Ah, yes. Uh, good question. Um, we are working on that. I um, won't go into all the technical IT of it, but uh, we are working that Rally can link to other booking platforms. But as it currently stands, um, it's, it's, it's purely powered by Club Spark. So to be visible on Rally, you do need to have a Club Spark account and use the booking module and we can still support you to set that up even if you do use a different platform you might still be able to use that for in the short term um, we are looking at ways and there are kind of work to try and link it in the future but it's not going to be done overnight so you do need to have club spark to be able to be part of uh, this campaign it's important to, to put that on there um things like how much should we charge for a court it's a really good question um i mean obviously lots of different um Factors will influence that, but certainly we'll put a bit of a kind of example and some ranges on their FAQ so you get a bit of a feel for what a small, medium, large club might charge and, and certainly in different parts, kind of rural and urban. Uh, we've got some really good examples and case studies that across a number of different, uh, both clubs and parks where we can share that with you. Great, thanks Graham. Um, we've probably got time for one or two more if you, if you want to carry on. I'm just scrolling down. Um, I think there's a few questions around uh, some specific, one thing we are going to do, absolutely, we're going to save this chat. So we've got your name, we've got your specific question. So ultimately, if we don't obviously pick up specific examples now, we will definitely get back to you. Um, uh, and also, um, just as Jill mentioned it, we, we ultimately are here to help. So if you're thinking, oh, this looks, you know, quite a bit of a challenge and I'm not IT savvy, um, you might be saying, then come to us, speak to us. Club Spark is, is there as a support platform, but certainly myself and Tony and other colleagues when they're kind of back working shortly, will be there on hand to, to, to walk you through that process. Um, so don't worry. Uh, question from Chris around TFK. I know that's being talked about hotly with the, uh, the coaching team back at the LTA. Um, and I know that's kind of um, yeah, imminent, isn't it, Jill, that we are looking to make sure coaches can get back using the TFK resources um, for small groups. Um, so again, we'll make sure that's included in the FAQs. Yeah, obviously once the restrictions lifted further. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, we won't, some really good questions coming here. Can we accept payments through PayPal account as opposed to Stripe? Some technical bits of questions. We are ultimately, we'll definitely capture all these and we'll include these in the FAQ. So whilst we won't try and uh, bluff our way through some of the, the answers here, we ultimately will get you a, an accurate answer and come back to you on this. Um, right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for that, Graham. Um, and thank you to everyone for your participation this morning. Hopefully, um, we've covered uh, the main topics and it's just time to say wish you well, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, feel free to leave. Thanks very much. Take care. Cheers. See you. Bye bye.